Welcome to Poisonous Plants 1 to 1, a story about poisonous plants told in 121 seconds. This video assumes you are familiar with Heraclium mantigasianum, giant hogweed. If that isn't true, I suggest you watch the video in this series about that plant first. My speculation, and I stress it is only speculation, is that as a non-native, giant hogweed hasn't had the time to evolve a balanced response to the root fungus that is believed to stimulate the production of the furocoumarins that produce the skin damage leading to burning. There are plenty of other plants that produce these chemicals, but only rarely do they result in harm to people. Heraclium fondilium, hogweed, is the closest relative of the giant hogweed and has, at times, caused problems, but is mostly harmless. It seems that an essential requirement for harm from the likes of hogweed or the other plants that produce furocoumarins is very bright sunshine. What seems to be unknown is whether the sun has some impact on the initial reaction between the skin and the plant sap, or whether it is just that very bright sunlight is required to cause the subsequent burning. Amongst the plants that can cause these problems is Pastinica sativa, parsnip. Problems are a known hazard for people working in the commercial harvesting and preparation of parsnips, but it is very rare for someone gardening at home to have trouble. Very rare, but not unknown, as these distressing images show. The woman concerned was happy for me to use these pictures, which appeared in the national press a couple of years ago, to spread word that though very rare, the reaction, if it does occur, can be unpleasant. It's that old cliché about the dose makes the poison. For a lot more information on poisonous plants, please visit www.thepoisongarden.co.uk.